Uh, it's broken for sure. Uh, I don't know anything else more than that. You know, compound fracture, most likely, but um, that's going to be a long time. Let's just put it that way. Emotionally, Doc, uh, how did you think the team responded initially and then as the well, game wore on? you know, it, it, second half I thought we really responded. Uh, with our energy, I thought, you know, we had that one stretch that uh, like took the life of our team and it was, I think we missed like five point blank layups at the basket and followed by Delonte's injury. Uh, I mean, you can just see the life just go out of everybody, especially with Delonte. Uh, just gets back playing hard, and then bam. I mean, uh, so that was tough. And, you know, at halftime, everybody, you know, was in there around him and wanted to see how he was doing. And uh, But I thought they came out, uh, you know, then Nate gets his fourth foul to start the, uh, the, the third quarter. We don't have any guards left. Um, you know, Marquise gave us unbelievable minutes. I mean, unbelievable minutes. And... Uh, Von Wafer, you know, his, his stat line is going to say basically nothing. Um, I thought his defensive energy, you know, uh, was phenomenal. And, and you know, we, they, it was great for Von in the locker room. Everybody was grabbing him and, you know, giving him because defense and Von Wafer can now go together. <laughs> and that's a, that's a great thing. It really is. I mean, he's bought in and uh, it's a great lesson for him. Uh, you know, just hang in there. And he did. Coach, can you talk about the game shock out? I mean, yeah, that was the young one. Uh, I mean, he was just good. He was, he, he had great energy, um, and, and you know, it's, it's we had to have it. You know, we, we had to leave him on the floor at times. Uh, you know, I used the one time out, uh, the fourth, just because we were about to pass out, uh, and he was just his energy, his size, everything. He, he was just, he was phenomenal for us. Is the hope now that Delonte can get back basically for playoffs. the playoffs and yeah. Avery Bradley mm-hmm. steps up? Yeah, you know, that's tough, honestly. Uh, and I was talking about it today for Avery. Avery's played, he's, you know, I think Lawrence or Kevin Eastman said he's been through three full practices this season. I'm including training camp. Uh, and he's a rookie, and we're going to throw him on the floor. Uh, so we may at times, you know, but we just got to protect him. We don't want to ruin him, you know, and he's not healthy yet, not great health. So uh, it is what we have. You know, Rondo will come back soon, you know, so we'll have the two guards. Uh, we'll probably have to get through one more game. Are you any more likely to play Rondo in no, this game? No, I'm probably game. less likely, <laughs> no, the way things are going, and I'm serious about that. Uh, I, I don't, uh, unless Eddie says he's feeling great, I just can't see us. And I, and I know Rondo, so we're going to have to really have a long talk for him to play on Friday. Does Nate-